Oh, this is Mark Haynes with Fly Rod Chronicles and Fly Fish Tie Flies, and today we are tying for you the Gumdrop Floater. It's a really simple fly, great little pan fish fly, also works well on some bass. Great to get a farm pond around, which this time of the year in the summer, trout fishing is getting a little rough. I like to change it up. This is something a little different to throw at the pan fish if you're out fishing a local pond or lake. The fly is consist of, which has already got this foam body, which you see here, which is actually a gum drop floater from Northland Fishing Tackle, which is actually, as you can see on the back here, it's designed to hold your bait off the bottom when you're using a bottom bouncing ring for walleye. But somebody out there, I found this online, this is not my pattern, so I can't claim it. They came up with this idea of using this for this little pan fish and bass fly, and I thought it was pretty cool and gave it a shot, and it does work. So it's a fun little pattern. Let's get started. First, you can start your, th start your thread, and you're gonna match that to the color of the body. This is kind of a yellow, yellowish bottom, chartreuse color top. So I'm using a chartreuse thread. First thing you wanna do, and this doesn't consist of a whole lot of materials, is you're gonna take your marabou, and I like to strip my marabou off the side of my hackle for this flaw. Or not my hackle, off the side of my feather. So I set that on there, and I'm leaving that long on purpose right now, and you will see why in a second. So you get that started on there, trim off some of that extra. You can also, if you wanted to, you could add rubber legs and things like that to this fly if you really want to spice it up. But next thing I want to do is figure out the length I want. I want to probably about that long. I'm going to hold this and I'm going to pinch off that extra marabou. So you can see there, it leaves a kind of natural look to it. A little makes it puffier or thicker. Yeah. I really like to do that on a lot of my little lake fly streamers and stuff like this where. I don't really want that long tail, but I want it to look thicker and buggier. Next, I'm just using some, this is a grizzly hackle that I dyed myself, which it's not the best dye job, but it has a slight green tint to it, so I'm going to use it. But any regular grizzly hackle or a yellow or chartreuse color hackle would work. Get that, also get that in there, which you secure, and you three back up, thread back up to right there behind that foam section. Get your hackle pliers and once we get this hackle wrapped around that we are about done. And I'm not super picky. This just kind of gives a little extra movement in water. A better a little illusion of some extra life. And helps keep it floating just a little bit better. Get that on there. You're gonna put three four wraps over like that. Clip off that hackle. Now I'm going to pinch that hackle with you between your fingers and put a few more thread wraps in there to really secure all that down. Now we're about ready to finish up with this fly. All we're going to do is put a couple, three, four turn whip finishes on this. You can also add some glue if you want, which I don't always do that, but it's not a bad idea. And that's it, that's your fly. Clip your thread, you're ready to go fish. You also want to keep an eye out on these sometimes. You see that eye right there. This one's open, but sometimes when they paint these, they dip them, and that eye will get a little congested. And what I'll do is I'll actually take some of them and I'll clean them out, kind of how I did with that one there. But that's it, there is your gumdrop slider. Nice little fly for panfish, warm water stuff. Give it a shot. I'm sure you can catch some fish on it and enjoy the rest of the week.